Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it. I am Penge and it is May the 4th, which means only one thing. It's time to reverse the polarity of the neutron flow, kill some fracking toasters and engage warp 9 because it's Star Wars Day. See, May the 4th, you see what they've done there? Because May the 4th sounds a bit like May the Force. Because it's Star Wars, yeah, never mind, it's a little bit tenuous, isn't it? But that tenuous link gives us the perfect opportunity to play Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, which is jolly exciting. I'm so excited to see this back. So really, I don't know why it's not called Star Wars Episode 1 Pod Racer, because it's the pod racing scene from Episode 1, which, let's be honest, was probably the highlight of that entire film. Now, I played this a lot way back when, in 1999, when this came out. I had this on my N64, and I played it quite a lot. However, all that knowledge of all the tracks and stuff is now gone, so I'll be uh, learning from scratch. But yes, they've re-released it. It's on GOG, or GOG, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yes, you can pick it up now if you like. And it's kind of been, it's not been remastered as such, but it's been reworked so it runs on modern machines, because old games, old PC games anyway, because it came out for the PC as well back in 1999, have a bit of a habit of not running properly on modern machines, because the architectures are different and all that kind of jazz. So um, yeah, they've actually made it compatible and it works. Now the only thing is, the screen size. I apologise for the big black bars down the left and the right, but that's how big this screen is. I can't do anything about that. And if I stretch it, it looks really awful. So, uh, no, we're going to keep the black bars down the side. Apologies, but the game is quite old. Also, I'm going to be using my keyboard to play this game because I cannot, for the life of me, get my Steam controller to work. I guess it's just the age thing. So, yeah, I'll be using a keyboard which doesn't quite have the fluidity of a controller, but never mind. Never mind. I'm sure we'll still have a lot of fun with this. So, this is jolly exciting. Let's do a single player tournament, shall we? Okay, so I've created me, there I am, as a player, and we press OK, and look, we kind of go into the bar, we go into the pod racing bar, and it all looks a little bit rubbish now. Believe me, back in the day, this was pretty good. This was pretty good. Okay, maybe not that background out the door. That was probably rubbish back in the day. But uh, yeah, this was pretty good. In 1999, these graphics were really, really quite good. These were kind of the high end of things, which some of the younger viewers are not as you know, are probably going, this looks abysmal. But you know, it was almost 20 years ago. So how far we have come in 20 years. I mean, that's very, very impressive, really, isn't it? So um, here we go. This is the pod racing bit where we have to pick who we want to play as. Now, some of you may not know what pod racing is. Some of you are probably going, pod racing? And what is this? So this bit at the back is a pod and the driver, the pilot, whatever, sits in this little bit at the back. Here are two massive whacking great engines that fire the pod along and then we steer the pod and we drive it. So essentially it's a racing game. They kind of float. They're not on the ground. They're kind of floating about, which does make you wonder how there is a traction value. How is there a traction statistic when nothing actually touches the ground? I don't know. But yes, as you can see, there are a set of vehicle statistics. There's traction, turning, acceleration, top speed, air brake. Might as well just put brake, but there you go. Um, cooling and repair, because you can repair things as you go along, and the engines do get hot if you try and you know use the boost and stuff too much. The uh, cooling does sort of kick in and actually take effect, and your engines can blow up and stuff if they get too hot. So we need to pick who we want to be. Now, I have done the first track. I did a uh, three-lap race of the first track just to get my keys all sorted and to make sure it recorded and all that kind of stuff. So I have done something. I was the, uh, the last guy in the list. But let's go through and have a look who we can be. So this is Anakin Skywalker. Now, shh, okay, okay, spoilers. He turns into Darth Vader. But to keep it down, keep it down. He doesn't know it yet. He's only a child at the moment. So yes, this is uh, Anakin Skywalker. He is kind of the... I was going to say the hero of episode one. He's not. He is the kind of the main focus of episode one. He obviously becomes Darth Vader. And his vehicle is okay. He's got a fairly good set of stats. Then we go through to Ebi Endocot, who also has fairly good stats. He's got high traction. He's got some good cooling going on. Braking, not so much. He's got a kind of averaging acceleration and top speed, but that's okay. Then we go to Dud Bolt, who seems to have a dud pod racing thing, because he's not very good. Gazgano is okay. Also, Gazgano has a very, very, very long neck and many arms, which probably helps with the repairing thing, which is why his repairing is so high. But yeah, air brake and cooling, not particularly brilliant. Elan Mack, kind of not as good as some of the other ones, so he won't be you. And then Odi Mandrell, who I was when I set my test lap, if you like. Um, yeah, he's got a fairly good set of stats. I think, I think, let's go and be you. Ebi Endocot. 
why not? You look like a kind of curious alien character. You've got big flat feet and a tail and kind of horns. And your pod thing looks quite good. They look quite big. These things are quite big and sort of powerful. So that's good. And he's got, yeah, he's got quite good traction and quite good cooling, which is good because we can use the boosts for longer, which is jolly exciting. Okay. There we go. We'll put okay. So we have seven races, I believe. Or does it go on for more? Ah, no, there we go. Look, so we've got the amateur pod racing circuit, the semi-pro pod racing circuit, and the galactic pod racing circuit. So this is the actual professional thing. Now, I, I realise I did play this a lot back in the day. I have not played this for many, many, many years. So, um, yeah, I might just do the amateur pod racing circuit first, and then maybe try some of the other ones. So I did do this one here. I did do the Boonta training course on Tatooine. So we already have a lap on that. There we go. 319. I mean, that's probably really rubbish. I must place fourth or better to progress. Sebulba, who in the films is that big bad. Uh, he uh, is going to be there. He's a track favourite. So here we go. Let's see how I get on with racing at the Boonta training course, shall we? So you can do all this stuff. You can do various bits and bobs. I think what we'll do now is we should just start the race. We'll just go. It's the training sort of thing. It's on the amateur level. I should be okay. Okay, and here we go, and there I am. There I am, sat there waiting on the grid. Okay, so weird time thing happens, and we are go. And everyone seems a lot quicker than me. All oh, right, and I've pressed the wrong keys. That's a good start, isn't it? Okay, so I'm in fourth. Number one is all the way down there. Now, th th we're not uh, not averse to uh, some, some violent sort of ramming of people out the way. All oh, right, all oh, right, he's there. Okay, he turns very, very well. Okay, he's got some very good turning going on. Now, you can do weird turning. You can sort of do super, super turning like that. If you need to go through, like, gaps or whatever, or fling yourself around corners slightly sharper, you can use sort of a more extreme turn. I don't think I need to do that right now. I think he's got the turning right down. In fact, I might need to use it there, look. I might use it there. Oh, I'm not on the ground. Although I don't really understand what difference that makes. Oh, a bit of damage there. Oh, I'm my skills here, am I? Right, let's get around this corner. Let's get around this corner. Okay, I think there's a little gap. There's a little gap. Oh. Okay, right, rocks. Avoid the rock. Oh, don't don't hit the rock. Right, okay, don't hit any more rocks. That's probably a really bad thing. Now we can do a boost. Let's do a boost. So now this, the thing in the corner, I think, is kilometers an hour. We're going quite quick, I think. Okay, we're overheating. Let's come back down. Let's come back down. Lap one. We are in the lead. Right, kind of height around this corner. One minute six lap time. Okay, I did go off a little bit <laughs> on that track. I went off a few times because I don't know what I'm doing. And also I pressed the kind of wrong key combinations. But that's fine. Okay, let's keep going. I don't even think there is anybody near us. I don't think there's anybody even nearby. I think we're quite a long way ahead. So this is the amateur circuit. So we don't actually... You know, this, the computer isn't going to be doing much to us. I think we're quite some distance ahead of the uh, of the computer now. Let's just try and pull around there. Yeah, that's a bit better. That's a bit more fluid. Yeah, now it looks like I know what I'm doing. Wall. Uh, oh, 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 goodness me. <laughs> Why can't they just make that bit bigger? Just make the gap a bit bigger. That'd be nice. Okay, here we go. Let's use our boost again. Let's fly along. Let's go quick. Right, we're going to start overheating again. Yeah, and let's just do that. Cool down. So on the left, when we do have a thing to do... Oh, 56.91, a new lap record. Yeah, take that, Sepulver. Yeah, may the force be with me, because I'm clearly the best. Um, yeah, our engines do take a bit of... Uh, they, they take damage when I crash into things, which fortunately isn't much of an issue in this level, because it's all very wide and open, um, mostly. Anyway, this bit kind of is. There's a little cavey bit obviously coming up. But uh, the engines do take damage. You can repair them as you go, like that. Like, if I press and hold R, I repair the engines as we go. But I don't think there's that much that we need to repair at the minute. Because I've, I've either not crashed very much. Oh, crikey's. Okay, right. A little bit of a little bit of crashing perhaps happening there. But I don't think it caused any damage to us. I don't like this bit. <laughs> that gap is just stupidly small. Right. Then we go like this. So to do this to do this boost thing, you have to kind of lift the nose of the, uh, the pod up a little bit. So you just ram the nose of the pod up. Okay, let's not overheat. Let's not overheat. Not on the last lap. And... Oh, it's a glorious victory. 56-18. It's a new lap record. I am clearly the best. There is a weird green thing in the sky. But yeah, okay, good. There we go. Splendid. 56-18. And I have won my first race. And there I am. So I was 10 seconds ahead of everyone else. I was 10 seconds ahead of Sebulba. And I have won 1,200 Truggerts. Which I assume is a good thing. I'm going to hope that that is a good thing. Okay, so now if we go to the next one, the Mongaza, the Mongaza Speedway. Let's go to here. So we need to uh, place fourth or better to progress. The track favourite is this fella here, Team Topagalis. But 
Let's see what we can do with this now. So we can buy vehicle upgrades or parts or pit droids or whatever. So do we want to buy ourselves some pit droids? Make faster repairs to your damaged upgrade parts. Okay. Or we could buy buy some parts. Should we buy some parts? What's the junkyard? Does that allow us to buy extra things? Uh, okay. We can go and upgrade our traction. We can upgrade our repair. We can upgrade our turning. Oh, crikey. That is... That's quite a lot of upgrade to turning, isn't it? Uh, a bit of braking, a bit of acceleration. How can we do top speed? I'd quite like some more. In fact, no, we like more acceleration. There. A 44 PCX injector. Let's get one of those, shall we? How much is that? It's trade 800. Okay, hang on a minute. Replace that. Okay, so yeah, I can buy this. So if I trade that in... I'm then going to get that boost. Is that right? Ah, it's all kind of keyboard based. Okay, cool. Right. Well, that's pretty good then. Let's go back. Uh, and vehicle upgrades then. So can I see what I've got now? Yeah, we might need to repair that. That looks a little bit broken. Can we apply that or is that automatically applied? Okay, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how that works. Also, the, um, the voice of the guy, the selling guy, is incredibly loud and incredibly distracting. I wish you could turn that off. Okay, so the pit droids would repair the damaged upgrade parts, but I don't have any of those and I can't afford them because it costs 1,000 to buy a pit droid and I've only got 734 truguts left. So never mind right now. Let's just go and start the next race, shall we? Let's see how badly this can go. Yep, so you get a little sort of preview of the thing. Now, I've not done this track. Well, I've, I have done this track in the past at some point, but not recently. So uh, this, could, this could either go really well or really, really fantastically wrong. Right, let's have a, let's, have, let's have a keep going. It's, we're doing all right at the minute. This is actually going fine. Right, there's bits in the middle. You need to be wary of the bits in the middle. Oh, crikey. Ah, okay, bit of damage, bit of damage. Okay, I need to get a straight bit and we can repair that. Like there, look. Repair, repair, repair. Right, hoika left. Okay, what's that thing? Oh, is that the start finished straight already? Oh, crikey. Okay, it's a bit like an oval then. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Boost it there. Come around this corner. Come round here. Yeah, this is good. Oh, no. I, oh, dearie me. I just, um, yeah, that wasn't very good. Didn't realise that I was still going there on the old boost. Okay. Wang this round the corner. Bring this round here. I think we've got this absolutely in the bag. Right. And boost that. And then no boost. Oh, 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 oh. It all went a bit wrong. It's all gone a little bit wibbly. I'm going to come and lap someone in a moment. That's very good. Right. I need to do some repairs on my engines. I need to do some repair. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. My, my keyboard mapping's entirely stopped working there for a second. There we go. Well, that's what you get for playing an old game on a modern computer, I guess. Um, am I... I know that person's still in 12. Okay, that's fine. Uh, yeah, it's all gone a bit strange. My, my controls have gone really weird. Why is it doing that all of a sudden? Well, I won, but the controls went odd. Okay, right. I might need to go and revisit the controls a little bit to see what's happened. Okay, no, the controls are still mapped. It just seemed to be that I lacked any kind of traction. But maybe if I've damaged the pod or the engine things, maybe that damages the traction as well. That must have been what happened. Okay, so fourth place or better to progress. Aldarbido, who looks like a curious kind of uh, curious kind of person, alien creature thingamabob, on Bido's Wild Ride. Well, yes, it would be. He would be the favourite given that it's his track. So, yeah, this looks tricky. This looks tricky, particularly that big hairpin at the top. That might be a bit of a problem. But okay, let's go into here and let's go to buy pit droids. Because now we should be able to buy ourselves a pit droid. Yeah, so let's get one pit droid. We'll have you. Thank you very much. So you should be able to help. Now, uh, do I need to repair my vehicle now? Is it all damaged? Let's have a quick look. That inspects the vehicle. Now, that's just me looking around it, isn't it? Okay, that's just me looking at it. That doesn't help in particularly any way. What can I do with this information apart from look at it? Yeah, that's me, and that's the cockpit. Okay, no, not that. How do we make sure the vehicle is actually sort of ready to go and is mended? Or is it mended before each race? I'm not entirely sure. Okay, there's a control vectro jet possibly for sale. How much is that? That upgrades the turning an absolute no end. Yeah, okay, we'll have that. We shall have that. Thank you very much. Yeah, we'll take that on board. So all these other things. Top speed. Maybe air brake. Don't really use the brake much. 1,400. Oh, goodness me. Right. We have not much money left. So, okay. I think. Let's just go and start the next race.
Now, we have a bit more turning, so that's going to help on this, because this track looks a little bit twistier than the others. But okay, right, so he's ramming into me, that's part of pod racing. In fact, in the actual film, I think Sebulba does most of his victory by, uh, achieves most of his victories by ramming people off the track and cheating, which is a little bit rude. Now, the draw distance isn't great on this. I assume it's supposed to be like that, because it's all frosty and snowy, but it's very hard to predict where I'm going next. Oh, crikey, I'm not going through that tiny gap in that rock. That way, madness lies, and also crashing and engine damage. Right, I'm going to assume that my pod... Yeah, everything seems to be back and repaired. Let's try and repair it as we go round. Right, ah, it's a hike around that corner. The turning, was that the hairpin that I came across there, possibly? Okay, I'm on some sort of frozen bit. Okay, it's very, very fast. Right, let's do this bit. Let's do it. Let's go quicker. Right. Do we want to put the... Oh, no. I crashed into a thing. Right. You do restart, I believe. Uh, do I take a financial hit with that? Yeah. Crashing into a big thing probably didn't help there, did it? Oh, and the control. Uh, we're on ice. We're on ice. It does not help. Okay. Let's use the boost. Let's use the boost as quick as we can. Yeah. There we go. Come on. Let's gain some Let's gain some distance on the people in the background. Right. Temperature warning. Even though I'm in a really, really, really cold place, I've got a temperature warning. But okay. That's fine. Where do I go? Where do I go? Through this bit. Okay, yep. Managed to keep it sort of on the road there a little bit. Managed to do pretty well there. Let's go under this bit. Looking good. Oh, this looks horrendous. This looks very, very tricky. There's bits everywhere. There's bits in the middle. Oh, no. I've gone down the thin, the thin, possibly really difficult to do bit. No, no. We're on this. We're on this. We're absolutely fine. A little bit of wall clipping going on there. Try and spin through here. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, a little bit of damage. Hike it over to the left. And I think, yeah, that's pretty good. Right, let's do this. Let's see if we can boost. See if we can just do that. A new lap record. Yes, I am clearly the best. My, my, my engine just fell off. I think I might have hit a wall. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I don't think there's anybody near me. Hooray for the amateur mode. Hooray for easy mode. Okay, I'll be honest. That lap was fairly uneventful. I kind of went around and did some stuff. It's going well. I think, I think I'm quite far ahead of everyone. Which means I'm going to try something incredibly stupid. Let's try and go through the hole in that rock thing, wherever it is. Is it round this corner? Just because I think it looks fun. Let's try and go through. Oh, yes. Oh, I've still got it. After all these years, I've still got it. He says, not expecting to crash. No, this is going okay. This is going absolutely fine. I think I've got this absolutely in the bag. A little bit of wall there. That's fine. We can, we can clip the wall. That's okay. We go up the wall. That's probably not quite as good. Right. Let's, let's do this. Let's concentrate. Let's really concentrate. Because we can do this. We can be quite a long way ahead of everybody. Right. Gonna... <laughs> we can be slightly less ahead of everyone because it just blew up. Okay. It's quite fortunate that it restarts you. Because in the film, mostly when you get blown up in the film, they, um, they didn't come back. Weirdly enough. Because they were blown up and in pain probably. Or on fire. One or the other. Right. Let's boost along here as quick as we can. It's going to overheat. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to push it. Overheating. And now we come back down. Now we come back down to normal speed. Right. This tricky bit here, then. Tricky bit through the caves. Is that this bit? Yeah, I think it comes up around here, doesn't it? Yeah, this is the caves bit. Let's try and do this again. Try and just speed up into here a little bit. Right, and then come off the speed when you're going into a big cave, because that probably doesn't help. Uh, let's. Should we go to the left of this thing, see what this brings us? Ooh, right, lots of... Ooh, lots of things. Lots of things. Okay, let's dodge all the things. Ah, oh, hang a left. Oh, no. Oh, no. A little bit of damage. Little tiny bit of damage. My, oh no, one of my pods, one of my things is broken. Oh, it's not going well. It's not going well. But I think I'm sufficiently far ahead of everybody in order for it not to really make any difference. Let's just belt through to the finishing line. Yay. Okay. Ah, oh, that last lap was pretty good. If I hadn't have crashed at the end there, I would have beat the lap record again. Okay, but first, once again, I'm beginning to think the amateur levels are possibly a bit too easy, but we'll get to the end. Okay, this is the Aquilaris Classic, Clegg Holdfast, who again looks like another charming fellow, is the uh, track favourite. I rather think I might beat him unless I do something incredibly stupid. So now let's go through, let's buy some more vehicle upgrades, buy parts or go to the junkyard. Right, so the junkyard, you get parts that are a bit run down, I think. Whereas buying parts goes to the little sort of the annoying man who talks a lot, the little floaty guy with the wings. But um, I think his parts are probably higher quality, so they're less likely to be broken. So I don't need that. What can I get? What can I get? Air brakes, more air brakes, stack three radiators, dual power cells, quad power cells. Repairing probably is quite useful. What if we go all the way back to traction? An S80 repulsor grip. That sounds good. We've got as much turning as we can out of him. 
Acceleration, yeah, top speed, the thrust coil, or a plug five thrust coil, so a three or a five. An air brake, yeah, I'm not that bothered about the air brake. I, have, I haven't actually used brake yet. <laughs> Cooling might be quite useful. Let's go for that. How much is that? 100? Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll buy that. And also, then, can we? Can I buy another pit droid? Can I buy another one of those to repair my things a bit quicker? That's lovely. Right, cancel that. What if I go to the junkyard, then, now? So if I go to the junkyard, I can buy some better things, can I? Some, not better, some different things uh, for different prices, but they're going to be a bit more run down, I assume. Uh, traction. Traction. That's 60 repulsive grip. Let's get that, shall we? How much is that? 192? Yeah, all right. That's fine. I'll have that. That's upgraded the traction a little bit. And repair. How much is that? How much is that? 1200. I can't afford that. Do you know what? Okay, never mind. Let's start this race, shall we? Let's see what this is going to bring us. Little cinematic thing. Let's get past that. Okay, it looks quite wide. The track looks nice and wide. This is probably a good thing. Let's go, shall we? Okay, we are racing and I don't know. Oh, 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 that's a big thing in the middle. I thought that was a way to go through. Phew, okay. <laughs> right, there are big divider things in the middle. Must remember that. Oh, it's a bit tricky, this one. Oh, it looks tremendous. As in, you know, not, not graphically, but I like the idea that there's... Are we underwater? Oh, that's quite nice, though. Right, I've gone underwater. We are obviously not in the water, but look. We are under the water in these kind of tunnel things, which is very, very cool. I like that. That's good. And we're going to come back out. Right. Is this a good straight bit to put the... to apply the boost? I don't think it is. I don't think this is a good straight bit to apply the... Oh! To apply the boost. Probably not. This might be. This might be a good place to apply the boost. No! That's a bad place to apply the boost. <laughs> that was a wall. That's what I call a big crash. Yeah. Let's not crash into walls again. That was a little bit mean, wasn't it? Okay. Right. Hang a left. Hang an extreme left. Let's try and go up here. Look, that might be fun. Uh, okay, yeah, this bit's good. It reminds me a little bit of Half-Life with the boat, uh, the sort of uh, hovercraft scene thing, that bit there. But okay. Right, come around here. Down here. Through this. There's pointy arrows. Pointy arrows are good. I like the pointy arrows. They help me quite a lot. Right, and try and go around this way. Try and stick. We've got a tiny bit more traction. I don't think it's going to make much difference. I don't think I'm going to notice it that much. But yeah, and is that the end? Now it's going to split into two pits. It's going to split quite, quite brutally, in fact. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. Right. That end bit is quite severe. That is some quite severe cornering going on right there. Okay, must remember. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Hey, it's a new lap record. Yes, go me. Go me. Right. Let's see if we can just get through this race without blowing up too much. Though I suspect we might blow up a little bit more. Okay, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. I've got an engine fire. Oh, <laughs> it's not looking quite so good. My engine was on fire and then it exploded. That's not quite as good, but I'm near the end. I'm near the end. I am absolutely streets at everyone else. Now, I did this quite well last time out. Let's see if we can do that again, because what I did was, because I know this is tricky, I used the brake look. The mighty power of braking and not having to go at full throttle everywhere seemed to actually help quite a lot there. So yeah, let's try and do that again. There we go, look. And then we can just sort of try and get across the finish line. Yay, there we go. Ah, so close to a lap three winning lap there. Fastest lap, but never mind. So another first place. Let's go back and see what we can do to upgrade our pod now. Okay, the Malastare 100. The track favourite is Dud Bolt. Now, he was one of the playable characters, so that's quite intriguing. So, uh, yeah, okay, let's have a look here, then. So, what can we buy here? Vehicle upgrades. We've got various bits and bobs. Do I need to apply the upgrades or not? I don't really understand what this bit is about. I think I don't need to apply anything, do I? That just shows me what I've got. So, if I go to buy parts, I go to speak to you. Do you know what? Have I got enough money for that? 6,000? No, I don't have enough money for that at all. Uh, what about... Uh, what about if I try and go for that one? How much is that? 2,400. I can't buy that either. Unless, unless I then trade in the plug 2 thrust coil for the plug 3 thrust coil. Let's do that. Can I do that? Yes, I can. So now I've got a bit more top speed. Okay, well, that's going to be fun. In no way am I going to crash into more walls using that. Right, do you know what? No time at the present. Let's just get on with it, shall we? Another planet. It's looking good. We looks a bit dark at this place. Oh, no. I've got a better top speed now all of a sudden. I could do with more acceleration. 
People get ahead of me very, very easily. Oh, those flickery lights have not... <laughs> they do not look particularly good. Oh, my top speed is indeed higher. Yeah, 480 something. I think it was 460 before, was it? When I was going at top speed. Oh my goodness, no, it goes up to 490 something on there. Before I crash into walls, I was looking at my speed. Wow. Okay, green stuff. Okay, that's good. I like the green stuff. Possibly shouldn't have put that on just there. I've got a warning on my engine. Need to repair it. Repair the engine, repair the engine, repair the engine. Repairing. Good. So when you're repairing the engine, it looks like you cannot accelerate properly. You don't go at full speed. Obviously, because presumably you're leaning over, hammering bits of the engine back into shape or whatever. Let's try and repair some more engine while we're doing that. There we go. That looks pretty good. Whoa! Okay, right. There's bits. There's bits to stick out of the track. Green stuff. I like a track with green stuff. Oh! Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. There's a big jump there where I need to go really quick. <laughs> possibly, possibly need to remember that for next time out. Right. Here comes a big bend. Yeah. Okay. Right. I need to brake before I come to that one as well. Oh, this track is a little bit harder. Oh, I wonder how good I was at this in my youth. I wonder how good I was back in the day. Right. That's one lap. Uh, and it's a lap record because I've never set a, rec a lap here before. So presumably, yes, by default, it will be a lap record. Uh, crash into a wall a little bit. A little bit of wall crashing. That's fine. Now, the people, I can see them as the yellow dots on my map marker thing. So I'm not actually doing as well in this race as in previous races. Because I can actually see the people who are going to come and get me. I need to actually, you know, I need to pull my finger out a little bit and get on with this now. Going to blow up probably. Ah, oh, that did not go well. That didn't go well. Right. Repair, 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 repair. As much as you can. Splendid. That's repaired. Those spotlights still look a little bit dodgy. <laughs> okay, where was the bit where we had to go incredibly quick? Was it around here somewhere? Okay, that was a big, big rock. I'm not first. Oh my god, I'm third. Okay, right. Back into second we go. That's absolutely fine. Let's go, oh, this way then. Okay, so there's different routes. Okay, that's fine. Now, I think this was the jump, wasn't it? Was this the jump? Do I need to be doing that? No, I still didn't make the jump. Oh, no. Okay, this track is putting all of my driving skills to the test. I'm in third. I'm not having a good time of it. Right, we need to get past whoever that is in, in first. Whoever is in first, we need to certainly clear. Because I can't go through this without winning all of the things. I have to win all of the tracks. Surely I'm on amateur mode. So let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can chase down whoever's in first. Whoever it might be. Right, this is a straight bit. We can fly through at top speed on that bit, like that. We'll come back down a little bit. Ah, okay, right. Cornering is still not good on these. Cornering is not good. As in my cornering. The pod racer probably think is, is fine. I imagine cornering was yes. Take that, though. Yeah, who's gone through? It's me. Oh, no, and you're back through again. That was a cheat. You went up over a wall. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go that way and back out. Oh, okay, right. That's very cool. Okay, that's good. I like that. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it again. No. Right, I'm holding first. I got past him. I got past him. Let's see if I can keep first place. Because he's right behind me. Whoever he is, is right behind me. Let's use the boost. Ooh, close. 110. And that was with a crash. That was with an actual crash. So 110. You know, I should have been about 30 seconds quicker on that whole race. So yeah, my skills are not as good. Age has indeed dimmed my pod racing skills. Okay, the next track is called Vengeance. That's never a good sign, is it? Okay, right, let's go and have a look at Vengeance. That looks horrendous. That is very twisty and turny. This is going to be very, very difficult, isn't it? And Fud Sang is a favourite. Fud Sang has a very big face. Okay, let's try this track then. So, vehicle upgrades, right, buy parts. Can we buy anything that can affect our corners? Our cornering ability. Traction. That's going to be useful, isn't it? Can we buy that for traction? How much is that? 600. Yeah, okay, we'll have that. That's absolutely fine. Yeah, we'll take that on board. What else can we have? Uh, braking is probably going to be useful, but I bet I can't afford it. Oh, my goodness, that's very expensive. That I can afford if I trade in my other one. So I'm going to replace the Mark III air brake. I'm going to get 700 for it. So I'll have about 19, uh, no, what, 1800-ish and buy the air brake, that one. Yeah, that's probably worth doing because the track coming up is very, very twisty looking indeed. So here we go. Let's give this a go. Let's see if we can actually do this. Yes, right, this stuff. Oh, goodness me, it's already on a round bit. I still need to start on my acceleration at some point, but okay, right. Let's go through here, a little bit of ramming. That's fine, all is fair in love and pod racing. Let's go down here. It looks good. I like the uh, I like the visuals. There's a big asteroid belt over there. That's quite cool. Ah, oh, right, okay, yep. Yeah, taking a little bit of damage there from the wall that I keep driving into. Okay, when are we going to get to these big twisty... Whoa, darkness! 
that didn't help. When are we going to get to the big complicated bit? Oh, look at that. I'm on so like a sort of overpass type thing almost. Oh, oh I, don't, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going. I might have crashed into a wall. Oh, but I somehow survived. I somehow did not crash and die there. Okay, right. Try and ping around this corner. Here we go. We can do... I think we're absolutely fine with this. We can get round here. Uh, oh, look at this. This is very good. I like that. Obstacles to dodge. That's very good. Right, come round here. The track is very thin. The track is very, very thin. Right, okay. I'm trying... Trying to look at the little mini-map as well. Ah! Okay, right. Possibly clip the edge there a little bit. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Right, okay. I'm floating. I'm a kind of anti-grav bit. Okay, that's fine. Possibly don't want to go in that thing. <laughs> Big purpley thing. Right, I blew up a rock. I mean, I don't know how to... How to, how to dodge these rock things. Other than just sort of vaguely try and move out the way of them. But it doesn't really... I don't really know where I am and what I'm supposed to be controlling. And now I'm upside down and I'm very confused. Okay, dodge that rock. Go to the right, dodge that rock. Oh, and I'm back on the floor. Phew, I feel a little bit more in control on the floor. That says he's going to crash into a wall probably. Okay, that corner. That corner went okay. That corner went absolutely fine. Right, let's go up here. Now, I'm not going to use a speed boost. I don't think using the speed boost is going to help. I do need to find a straight bit to kind of try and repair at some point. What about round this corner? Like here, look. That was quite good. That was good. I've managed to repair up a little bit. Let's see if I can repair any more. I think that's as much as I can repair my engine while I'm in the race. That's fine. That's good. That's okay. Let's see. Can I do it anymore? Oh, no, I can repair it a little tiny bit more. Okay, let's... let's okay, now, can we use the boost now? Because this is a fairly straight bit, isn't it? Yeah, that's good. Through that gap. Yeah. And now, and now this this bit's quite complicated. But, yeah, did that. Did, okay, didn't do the end bit very well. I did the tricky bit well and then just, you know, crash into a wall at the end of it. That's fine. Okay, good. Through tunnel. Through tunnel. Pod racing is good. Pod racing is fine. I am okay at pod racing. I like this bit. I like the obstacles to dodge. That's very, very good. I like that. Right, pull this through here. Oh, the, for the force is looking pretty good with me right now. The force is indeed with me because I am doing quite well. Whoa! Okay, that thing turns around then. <laughs> okay, no. The weird space bit again. The weird floating bit. So we've got to make my way through here. Right, I don't want to crash into that. Again, that thing in the middle there. An obligatory kind of weird floaty energy core thing that they have in, in most sci-fi things. It's not just Star Wars. Most sci-fi things kind of have a dangerous energy core with very little health and safety sort of things around it. That's fine. Okay, I, don't, I, I, I really I don't know what's going on now. I don't know where up is. I don't know where down is. I don't know what I'm doing. An unsmooth transition back to the ground there. Thank you very much. Okay, we've got this. We've got this. I'm only on lap two. I'm only on lap two, but I'm doing okay. We are absolutely rocking the joint. Okay, can we can we do the boost thing now? Uh, no, not right now. I don't want to do it there. I'm going to do it here. And try and spin round to the left. Might possibly not want it to do the boost thing because it kind of blew up a bit. Okay, right. Lesson learned. Don't use the boost thing on a big corner. Maybe use it when you're on a straight, you silly man. The force has left me. The force deserted me just then, didn't it? The force, or common sense possibly, also deserted me. Oh no, I got caught on one of the massive rock bits in the sort of floaty anti-grav bit. And now I think I just saw one of the other people pinging in onto the uh, thing. Oh, I, I don't know how you're supposed to avoid those things. But yeah, there is someone behind me, I'm fairly certain. There's someone fairly... Yeah, look, there's maybe even a couple of people fairly close to me. Okay, come on. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. I have got this in the bag. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Right. Go, go, go quick. Go quick, go quick, go quick. We can do this. We can do this. Yes. 143. Yeah, I might have blown up a couple of times on that last lap. One of them I drove into a wall a bit too much and it blew the engine up. And uh, yeah, the other time you sort of saw a bit there. But yeah, okay, that's fine. 143 fastest lap. Another race win. Okay, yeah, maybe the amateur mode is a little bit too simple. But I'm still enjoying myself an awful lot. 1200 Truguts is mine. And the final race of the amateur pod racing circuit is the Spice Mine Run. Now, surely I am the champion. I've won every single race thus far. Surely nobody can catch up with me. But okay, Spice Mine Run favourite is Mars Guo. I don't even know what that is on there, Mr. Mars Guo. I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know where your face is, where your eyes are, where your mouth is or anything. But okay, it looks like an okay sort of track. Let's have a little look at the You're junkyard, possibly. What can we buy then? Bit of acceleration. That's what I want. Go that way. Acceleration. A quad 32PX. Oh my goodness, no. Okay, I can't afford that. 
That's too expensive. Do you know what? Let's save up for it, shall we? Let's just start the race. I think we'll be absolutely fine. Right. Here come the spice mines. This track didn't look too bad, actually. It looked okay. It looked okay. Right. Let's try and get you out of the way. Let's try and get you out of the way. Right. Yeah. Take that. Yeah. I can do some ramming as well. Thank you very much. Okay. This is good. This is good. It's a nice wide track. There's lots of space to move about. Look, it's very, very lovely. Now, I could be using my boost there, but I don't know what is going to then come up afterwards. So I'm a bit scared of using the boost, just in case then there is a massive corner. A bit like that, but I think I did that okay. Okay, there are pretty multiple paths. I might well be on a slower path than I need to be, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, okay, big mining machine. I thought I might have taken those off of the track before the uh, competition arrived, but okay, that's fine. Right, this way, this way. Oh, right, okay, the track has got a bit thinner. Uh, down the middle, why not? Let's go straight down the middle. Boost, this bit's nice and straight. Oh, this is, that's beautiful. I'm going very, very fast. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Is that a lap done, pretty much? Is that a lap done already? Surely not. That's a bit too simple if that's a lap done. No, not quite. Oh, there's things in this tunnel. I need to avoid the things. Don't crash into the things. The things will probably make you explode and die. That's always a bad thing. That's always bad. Okay, I'm going very, very fast. Ah, this bit's a bit complicated because I can't see where everything's going because all the walls look the same. Oh my goodness me. That is very deceiving. That is very deceiving indeed. Right, come on. We can do this. If we just boost there. Let's go up the higher one, maybe. Like that. Wall, wall. Caught a little bit of wall there. Let's just try and pull that round to the right. Okay, our engine's looking good. Not got any sort of red bits on the engine saying it's on fire or anything. This is fine. Right. Boost here. Boost here. This looks like a good boost spot. Uh, maybe not Maybe not such a good boost spot. <laughs> the engine's exploded, everybody. However, I am still in such a lead. I don't think anybody's even behind me on the track. Well, they're obviously behind me on the track. Not immediately behind me on the track. They're all quite some way behind me on the track. Right. Come on. Let's boost. Boost, boost, boost. Let's see if we, how fast we can get this thing. 680 something right overheating don't want to do that new lap record but i've never set a lap record before so there we go it's going to be by default okay this that's quite a big track the spice mines are quite big also they're quite straight this bit is relatively straight so we could as we're going to do now just completely floor it we're overheating and then let's bring it back down let's try and hike around that corner yeah okay we're going this way again <laughs> i might have not taken the wrong the right route again but never mind it's fine it looks nice around here. Lovely, uh, lovely digging things are in the way again. They've moved ever so slightly, though. That's fine. we still cut under you. It's good. Across our bridge. Into the slightly trickier bit. Slightly trickier. Right. Boost. Just boost down this bit because it's straight. Can we get up to 800? Yes, 800. Right. Don't do that anymore. Oh, it's very, very fast. We're going quite quick. Boost. Let's see how quickly we can get through here. Come on, we're going to set a new lap record. I want more lap records. That's what I want. I'm getting power mad. Power mad. I might as well go on a high. I'm going to win the title or whatever I'm going to win from this. I might as well run. This is the really tricky bit because the walls all kind of look the same. So it's very, very hard to determine exactly whereabouts you are and where the walls are going to come in. A bit like that look. Oh, yikes. Right. Okay. Well, we did quite well there then. That actually looked more like I know what I was doing than I actually did. Right. Let's go down the lower one, shall we? Let's just do that. A little bit of boost. Not all the way around, though, because we know what happened last time. Cut around this corner. This looks very good. It looks very warm wherever I am all of a sudden. It looks kind of hot. Right. Boost. A bit of a straight. Let's boost it on the straight. Uh, no, I did the same thing again. You massive spoon. However, I think I am still street teller everybody else. Okay, there we go. I think... Victory is pretty much in the bag. Unless I do many, many stupid things, which, you know, I'm liable to do. I think we've got this one wrapped up. And happy days. I didn't crash on that bit where I crashed the previous two laps. Yay! Crashed a bit just there, but that's fine. It didn't blow anything up, so it must all be fine. Right, okay. Final boost to the end. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. This must be the fastest lap. Boom. No. No, 2-7. Now, I, I did possibly crash a couple of times on that lap. I crashed into the big kind of mining thingamabob machine that was driving about. Came around the corner. It was a little bit near than I was expecting. Just went into the uh, sort of the, the wheel thing of it and blew up a little bit. So maybe that's why. So yeah, generally, I seem to be better on lap two than lap three. Obviously, by lap three, I've lost concentration. Or 
I think the problem is I'm so far ahead. I'm trying to do more reckless and reckless things and just keep blowing up. But never mind. I think that is another glorious victory for me. Oh, and the force is very much not strong with me. Our droid gnome release build has stopped working. <laughs> Oh dear me, even though it's been brought up to date to work with modern machines, the archaic technology that uh, this was programmed with, that Pod Racer was programmed with, it's not Pod Racer, it's Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, whatever it is, but you know, it's coded in such archaic old stuff that even though, even though it's been modernised, there is still always this little sort of, this little chance for error, and indeed that is exactly what has happened. Oh dearie me. No, oh, no, my Spice Mine Run victory did not count. Look, it's not registered. It crashed, obviously, before it logged the victory. Do you know what? I'm going to do it again. Because A, I want to actually get first place in all of the amateur pod racing circuit races. And B, it's actually an awful lot of fun. Ah, oh, it takes me back. Right, let's see if I can win that again. And maybe I can possibly do better on the last lap than the second lap. Okay, it's all looking pretty good so far. I haven't crashed yet. Which now means that now I'm talking to you all. I am probably going to crash into a wall or a tree or a bush or something really obvious that I shouldn't be crashing into. Right, here's where I kept going wrong before. So let's not put the things on here. Right, this bit, that corner's a bit sharper than you expect. Come round this one. Yes, yes. Look, it looks like I vaguely know what I'm doing. The fastest lap was quicker. I didn't crash at all. I crashed no times in that entire race. Oh, that was tremendous. Oh, they, it, do you know what? Pod race was great fun. Very, very simple. Simple mechanics. You go along, you press a button, you can boost. If you boost too long, your engines explode. Don't crash into stuff. Sometimes there's jumps. Ah, oh, it's tremendous fun. Right, let's see if this works then. Yay, I won 1,200 Truggots and surely, yes. And put me on the top step. Yay, there I am. I got my reward in the end. So a little, a little glitch, a little bug. That's absolutely fine. The game is very, very old. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's so incredibly ancient, which makes me feel even more old. But there we go. First, second and third, they're all bowing. Why don't you just make the thing lower, because no one can see you anyway, because you're floating around on top of this very high pedestal. Everyone else is kind of on the ground, so no one can see where you are. But okay, and I have won, and that's jolly exciting. Yay! Ah, oh, it takes me back. And there we go. So now I get the Invitational Pod Racing Circuit. Okay, well, do you know what? For fun, let's do one of these, shall we? Let's just do the Ando Prime Centauri thing and see how we get on. I imagine this is going to be a bit harder than all the other ones. Right, can we buy anything? Can we buy anything at all? Uh, what about what about cooling? Cooling was important last time because it means you can use your boost. Oh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have that. What else can we get? Not so about that top speed. Acceleration would be useful. But that's really expensive. 5,600. I still can't afford it. Turning. Yeah, go on. We'll have that. There we go. That's fine. Let's start this race then. Here we go. Let's see how we get on with this probably incredibly difficult race. Okay, everything looks kind of nice and open. It all looks pretty good. No acceleration. No acceleration. Need to sort that out in um, if I can at some point. Right, okay. Number one is up there. Now, this probably is going to be a proper race. I imagine if I've been invited, they're not going to be rubbish. Oh, but he just crashed into something. Right, temperature warning. Need to sort the cooling out because cooling isn't great on this thing. Cooling isn't great. I can't boost for very long. Right. It all looks okay. It all looks kind of big and open. Ooh, and, um, 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 okay, right. Am I supposed to go this way? <laughs> no idea. Is this the right way? I think it might be. Possibly could be. Oh my goodness me, it's a bit twisty in there. Right, go on, get a boost in, quick. Get a boost in, quick. We can do that through up here and into the air and overheating, so let's cool back down. Go through here. I'm sure I'm going entirely the right way. In no way am I going off track somewhere. No, okay. This all looks fine. Everything is fine, except for the bits that aren't. Everything is fine. Right, do I go round this thing? Oh, this is tremendous. This track is so huge. It's so vast. I can just boost round the edges. Look, okay, there we go. Come off the boost before it overheats and blows up. Uh, I've got three laps. Three laps of this. It seems very big and very long, this track. But okay, right. What's this doing then? Oh, no. Right, okay. Okay. So you have to try and maybe leap off that end bit to make it through. Okay. Do you know what? I think we'll be absolutely fine with this track. I'm going to go through and see if I can take a glorious victory on this track as well. In I come for a glorious win. Oh, dearie me. I was a tiny bit slower on that last lap, but there we go. 
I have taken another win. That gives me, what, 3,000 Truggots or whatever it was? 3,000 of your Truggots. Okay, so that is the race I just won, Ando Prime Centrum, but the other ones are invitational. So it's not like a series that I can just go in and do. They are now invitational ones, so I'd have to win presumably the semi-pro circuit and the final sort of difficult circuit in order to get two and three. And maybe I need to win races one, two and three of the invitational circuit to get invited to race four. I don't know. But you know what? That will do for now. That'll do for Pod Racer or Star Wars Episode 1 Racer or whatever it's called. But that was tremendous fun. Oh, I enjoyed that an awful lot. That was like reliving a bit of my youth all over again. And I suppose depending on your point of view, you might either be looking at this going, okay, that looks sort of fun. Mm, graphics are a bit rubbish if you're young. Or if you're a bit, <laughs> if you're older and if you can remember this when it came out, you might be looking thinking, oh, yes, look at the graphics. Oh, I have memories of this too. Uh, in which case, I mean, either or, if you're interested, it is available on GOG or GOG or whatever, you, however you pronounce that. I don't know. GOG sounds better than GOG. GOG sounds a bit weird. So GOG, there is a link in the description of the video if you want to go and take a look at it. But yes, that was tremendous fun. I've enjoyed that. I've relived my youth a little bit and that is always a lovely thing. But that is it for now. So hopefully you have enjoyed yourself as much as I have because I've had an absolutely splendid time. If you enjoyed yourself please do leave a like and also please do subscribe. But for now from a galaxy far far away happy Star Wars Day. So happy May the 4th. Happy Star Wars Day. Thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. This room was fire free until it wasn't. Okay yeah come with me if you want to live Paul. Hop on. Wee. <laughs> this is brilliant. That looks fun. Do some watery stuff. Yes, make the propane caster not explode. Uh, yeah, the toilet's on fire. Never mind. Oh dear, that didn't go according to plan. Never mind, it's fine.